a bit for $50. That's what this is. So all of a sudden I needed a guest bed. Nothing fancy, something cheap, yet functional and you know, nice looking. My usual go-to's when it comes to making affordable furniture is like two by fours and plywood. But plywood has gotten really expensive. However, you can still find very low grade plywood for like $35 a sheet, at least around where I am. Is that like even possible? Can you make furniture with that? Okay, so a couple goals here. Mattress off the floor. Sturdy enough for an adult to use, not just a child. Through joinery if possible. And a headboard would be nice. So what is a bed made of? You need legs, you need side rails, you need rails on the front and the back. You need either slats for the mattress to lay on or like a sheet of plywood. You may need a footboard or a headboard or both or none, <laughs> right? So for this design here now, I'm integrating the feet within the rails on the front and the back. So they are one piece and then that connects to the side rails. Um, and then the slats are just screwed on top of the frame of the bed. And then the headboard is a separate piece that is connecting through the same joinery. The headboard is not necessary. If you don't have enough plywood, you can actually um, omit that and not use it at all. You'll still have a bed. This is the first design file I did. It's going to go through a couple changes though. This is what I'm gonna to use to cut out on the CNC machine. But as you can see, you can take these measurements and you can you know, mark them out on a sheet of plywood and cut them with a circular saw or a, or a jigsaw. So cutting up some more slats here and testing putting everything together, you know, doing a test fit. I was thinking, is a headboard really worth it? I mean, it uses a lot of plywood, although I, I do think it really makes the bed. Um, I left the headboard plain here, you know, the inside of it, but you could always cut out a pattern if you wanted to. Once this gets glued up, it's gonna be stiff enough. That's another reason why it's nice with the headboard. It also helps to stiffen everything up a lot. So I think we got plenty of slats now. So what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve slats. So just debating about whether to use glue and like a nail gun or a staple gun uh, or like screws. But since this is going right upstairs, maybe we'll just assemble it up there. here we have these um, like these box joints on the sides here so these that are shorter go towards the end and these that are longer go towards the front they will connect to the headboard as well of course you don't need a headboard but if you do you can have one like this good job Okay, so marking out the position of each slat so I can remove them and then add glue uh, on both sides and, and screw them all in a little bit more efficiently. And one little tip here, place the slat flat towards one side of the rail or flush and secure it in place. And then when you move to the other side of the bed, you may need to like push, push it in place a little bit in order to get that side to come up flush as well, depending on the state of your plywood. So you may just need a little bit of force in order to get everything square and even. Now these pieces that we're securing underneath, um, they're just to connect everything and stiffen it all up. Okay, so the bed had a little too much flex. Um, and you needed a bit more structure. So here's the old files with all the old pieces. And here's the new file. Cut up a couple of additions from just scraps. So next up was painting. Um, as you know, this is not the greatest quality plywood. And if I was concerned and had the time to devote to create a really nice finish, then you could certainly add some filler, do a whole bunch of sanding, get everything really nice and smooth, cover the edges of the plywood, etc. But that was not my priority here. But I figured a coat of white paint would clean everything up and make it nice and bright. 
So first I have the slats going, you know, this way connected here. But then to add further support, I have added vertical pieces this way, two of them, and two of these. Um, and that really helps keeping the, uh, the rails in place to make sure that they don't bow in or out or anything. Um, now, if I was making um, another one of these, I would have designed that from the start and kind of integrated that into the build. But this was more like, you know, as you build in real life, you create it and you realize, oh, it needs an improvement here. You add a piece and it doesn't matter that this is not very thick. As long as everything is connected, um, it stiffens it up a lot. Now, the other thing to think about here, I'm using um, like half inch plywood or like 0.6 plywood and not very high quality either but that's not really a problem as long as everything is rigid so if you are in need of a quick guest bed or maybe you know a kid's bed or whatever then hopefully this would be helpful if you're interested in the actual files and the plans um, I'll put a link to them in the description below and as always all uh, plans are free for um, patrons so um, that's another way to go let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and I'll see you soon bye